assalamu alaikum hello everyone in this tutorial we will uh, discuss how to perform uh, cox regression survival analysis are you having uh, using your data set of interest so uh, first of all uh, we just have to open the file we have uh, which we will use for this analysis uh, on spss and uh, you know the method you just have to open this and from open options just select the format here i have opened this format with uh, untitled to dot xls and i just click oh, clicked open and then this file was opened right so now here you can see that i want to check the association of any of the variable against the survival information the survival information is mentioned here let me explain you one by one that for example in the first in the first uh, column here you can see the number of samples each sample represent a patient for example this is one patient number one two three four so total number of patients are around 178 and you can see that 177 right and uh, in the next five uh, column there are number of genes and their expression for example here this is akt1 is the expression of gene number one uh, this one means that up regulation and zero means uh, down regulation so AK, if there is one in any of the column for example akt1 means akt1 and uh, in this sample one means that there is an overexpression of akt1 in this sample and if there is a zero it means that there is a down regulation of akt1 in this sample and so on for all of the rest of the genes and then if you see here there are all the genes and I want to check of uh, the association with survival of any of these genes and then there is a clinical information for example here you can see that if there is an invasion uh, yes there was invasion then histological diagnosis all these patients have pancreatic cancer then the information of gender uh, and then the grade information that grade two three uh, their number of grades then all the other information like uh, tumor stage and then node information i've just categorized these into zero one for example if there is a grade greater than two then i've showed it that one and if the grade is uh, less than two or equal to two then that is zero for example here you can see grade two equals to zero grade three equals to one so similarly if there's a grade four then that will be one so i've divided it into early and late similar for tumor stage and so on different clinical information then in the last here you can see that there is information of overall survival month that the patient how many months of follow-up when the patient is survived or patient had died for example here if it is written 23.950 then zero means that uh, the patient is alive and if uh, after 9.6 months if there is an event one one means the patient is dead so similarly for disease-free survival analysis uh, uh, disease-free means that till when has the patient re remained disease-free so if uh, after 23 the patient was uh, disease free so there is no event and after five months there was a recurrence of the disease again so there is one event of disease free so we will use these columns either these or these to find the association with different features and uh, using cox regression survival analysis so first of all uh, let's uh, go to the analyze in analyze here you can see there's an information of survival and we just have to click the survival and if we want to build a plot for instance just uh, show you how to build a plot for example we have to select the overall survival months here then the month status or status that one or zero so if there is an event we call it one we have defined here one then we put the any of the gene information for example here i just put akt1 s1 right and then just click ok and you will see the plot survival plot here that it means that the over zero represents blue that blue is down regulation one represents green that is up regulation so it means that the down regulation of the akt1 s1 has showed more events uh, and it's associated with uh, poor survival of the patient now if i want to go and perform the and this is the p-value of the log rank test mental cox p-value that is less than 0.0.05 so now if I want to run the uh, Cox regression analysis, for that, if I just first 
just uh, show you one by one here I have to select for example for time I have to select months just put here months then for that month status here and for event I have I will select one that is the event right now for the univariate Cox regression analysis we have to select one uh, variable uh, for the analysis uh, for instance if I again here select AKT 1s1 here and then the whatever we want to do this is a covariate that is already selected if we need plots we can select plot and it will generate a plot then uh, we don't want to save any of the information we just want to check the confidence, confidence in interval and hazard ratio we just select this ok and after doing this the default method is enter we selected ok and we will get an output here you can see this is the result of the survival this is a survival plot and this is the univariate result here you can see that the akt s1 s1 showed again significant association with uh, the survival and exp bracket b means that this is actually the hazard ratio and uh, if the value is greater than when it, one it means that the associ there is association with poor uh, poor ratio poor or uh, hazard ratio or you, you can say poor survival and if it is less than one it means this association with good survival so here it's showing that the expression which means that over expression or expression of akt 1s1 is associated with better survival just you can see if the, in the plot here that the over expression showed less events compared to low expression so upper relation associated with good survival so now if we want to perform multivariate analysis now we have to select multiple variables for example if we have already selected here uh, akt 1s1 and now we if we select any other variable for example klb is the beta clotho gene and then map 3k1 for instance map 3k1 yes here now there are three multiple variables and we also want to select any association now this is for uh, multiple variables so we also select any of the grades for example here tumor stage one early, early or late and then grade early or late now we have selected five different variables now what multivariate analysis will do it will check the association of all three five variables together against the survival of the patient so if we select ok yeah now here you can see that uh, cumulatively now what uh, what is the difference between the univariate or multivariate is that here in multi univariate it will check the association of one variable with the survival and it will uh, generate the plots and calculate the cox regression but if you select multiple variables now here you can see it is actually showing you uh, the that whether all of these are together associated with the survival or any of them out of these five options has a significant association with survival compared to the rest so if we look at the p-values here you can see that there are multiple p-values which are not significant except a slight significance of tumor grade so here you can see that the AKTS1 is did not show any association KLB1 did not show any association MAP3K1 did not show any association but the tumor grade information is significantly almost slightly associated with the survival of the uh, survival of the uh, uh, pancreatic cancer patients with a strong hazard ratio that is 1.999 which means as i told you that if the hazard value is greater than one it means that there is a poor hazard ratio and the associate that association is with the poor survival of the patient so this is how we perform uh, survival analysis, univariate survival analysis and multivariate survival Cox regression analysis using SPSS. I hope this will help you to perform your analysis of interest. Thank you very much.